Hi everybody, John Boutte, the Buffalo Sports Museum, with another installment, another episode of In the Vault, Buffalo Sports Museum. As you can see, what the topic is for today, shake your whammy weenie. This is all about the whammy weenie. That was the promotion from Bell Supermarkets back in the fall of 1982. And this promotion was one of the worst promotions ever established uh, in any professional sport, not only football, but um, it was destined for failure almost the instant that it was uh, conceived back in that 1982 season. The story goes um, that the Bills had wanted to have some type of thing that would rival the Pittsburgh Steelers' terrible towel of those steel curtain Pittsburgh Steelers. And uh, they came up with an idea. Actually, not many people know this. They stole the idea. Uh, and I'll get to that in a second. But um, this promotion, uh, like I said, was, was rolled out in 1982. Bell Supermarket was a large supermarket of the day that uh, was in competition with Topps. Loblaws, I believe, was still around then. Acme may have still been around in that uh, in that time frame. Wegmans has not yet started up in Western New York. Um, so Bell's and Tops were the were the big two, along with Super Duper. But uh, Bell Supermarket was owned by Charlie Barcelona, who uh, a gr great astute businessman, and uh, they partnered with the Buffalo Bills on this promotion. Anyways, getting back to it, uh, they stole the idea, and here's proof of the idea right here. This was back in the 1960s, and this came out of, believe it or not, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And this was a promotion that they did called the Green Weenie Whammy. And here it was, the Green Weenie Whammy, complete Green Weenie, wean wean <laughs> can't say that three times fast, complete Green Weenie set. You get buttons, stickers, and an oval green weenie whammy button. And um, for some odd reason, Buffalo, the Bills, uh, the Bell Supermarket must have thought this was a good idea. Uh, but anyway, here's one of the whammies. There's a couple of the whammies, actually. And uh, these were sold through Bell's Markets, all the outlets in Western New York, for 49 cents. Or... Uh, if you spent $5, I think they gave you one free. And what they were was simply a plastic hot dog that had these little pellets inside that made noise when you when you shook it. And uh, they asked you to bring your whammy weenie and shake it at the game. Well, you can see where this probably went. Uh, Buffalo Bills fans who have been sitting tailgating all morning and have probably at that point uh, had enough um, alcohol, uh, started to abuse these. And you can imagine what was happening uh, to young female Bills fans at the time. But uh, actually, believe it or not, not, not a lot of people know this, there were more things sold than just the weenie. Um, you could go into the store and they would have a boutique set up in bells and here is basically what you could get you could get hats shirts uh glasses tankards um all different things trash cans all different things that came with the whammy weenie logo on it and um decorate your your man cave in uh weenie memorabilia well, anyway, um, in September of 1982, the Bills were coming off back-to-back -back playoff seasons in 1980 and 1981. The team was riding really high. And the first two weeks of the 1982 season went great. Uh, the team defeated the Chiefs the first game, and then the second game was held on Thursday night football with a miraculous comeback against the Vikings. 
Joe Ferguson and Jerry Butler and Frank Lewis teamed up to stun the Vikings and go 2-0. Well, at that point in the season, the players staged a strike. And that season was put on hold. And uh, in typical Buffalo fashion, they came back from the strike uh, later in the year, in November of that year, and the magic was gone. And the team fell into a terrible losing streak. And um, basically, the season was gone. The story is, and I will be the one to tell you that that story is false. Uh, the story is these were recalled because of lead paint. Well, I'm here to tell you that that story is false. That was a, a way to cover their tracks and save face. The true story is, uh, late in that year, the Bills were playing at home. They were getting beat. One highly intoxicated fan decided to tie two oranges to Mr. Weenie and lowered it down in front of Ralph Wilson's box. Well, Ralph Wilson was in not a good mood that day, seeing his team basically fritter away a great season and uh, reached out, yanked it off the uh, string, and said, that is it with this. Two days later, the release came out. Please return your whammy weenies to your closest Bell supermarket for a full refund. There is lead paint. Well, from a very high up person in the Bills organization, they told me the story that is complete baloney. And uh, they recalled or made up a story to, to recall the Whammy Weenie. Today, Whammy Weenies are very collectible. Um, sometimes you can find them on eBay. You might pay $25 or even $50 um, for a nice condition weenie. There was actually two different weenies. A lot of people don't know this also. One came with the Bell's logo on it, and one was released without the Bell's logo on it. I don't know the reason why there were two different weenies. But uh, anyway, 1982 was a great year for many things. Unfortunately, uh, Bill's football and uh, Bell's promotion was not one of them. So as you can see, we have a nice array of whammy weeny memorabilia in the museum. I hope you found this entertaining and informative. And uh, we love having you as a member of the Buffalo Sports Museum. Look for more episodes to come. Have a great night. Sabres hockey Thursday night. Don't forget that. Bye-bye.